in today's review we have the flash um from dc multiverse he's supposed to come in a two-pack i only have this guy though because i didn't want the movie version which is the one that he is paired up with so i just got this guy separately from ebay and um he doesn't come with a stand this one is a NECA stand by the way um he looks i think he feels completely new i thought he will be like completely used but he even came in the little um this piece so that's nice and for accessories the it came with for me it will just be this um five electricity type of things which is right here from the back piece he has two pegos right here and you can plug it in and because there are two pegs in the back that's kind of obvious i wish there was like something to cover it up i don't know and we have two rubber pieces for the hands for the arms and they're very rubbery so you don't you won't be able to break them you can fold them you can treat them however you want and they're not gonna break for the figure itself it looks awesome it doesn't look like the classic flash i don't know nothing about this here by the way this probably might be the new 52 look i don't know that's why it has the lines all over it i don't know that might be the new look and i definitely do like it the lines all over the place they're not sculpted they're just um painted on the only thing that is sculpted will be the boots and that's it the rest is nothing is sculpted like the lines or anything not even the chest thing the face i really like the face blue eyes he looks like a man the only thing that i don't like will be this thing that it looks way too thick i don't know that might be how he looks i don't know he has the those two lines again following and that'll be in a point right there the back doesn't look great you can see all of the articulation right there and then right here the ass just cut it in two pieces you can see the peg from the head doesn't look great from the back, but you're not going to be staring at the figure from the back. So, very nice and very stiff joints. So, that's definitely definitely good. So, talking about the joints, might as well go through the articulation. Would be the head can go all the... Well, not all the way up, but he can look up like if he could fly. Um, not really down. But, there we go. And for the abs doesn't really go back but it can go slightly down the shoulders can go up that far and they can go 360 with no problem bicep swivel single jointed idle bows and swivel in the wrist swivel on the waist you can do the splits swivel in the thigh single jointed knees and single jointed um not single jointed um he has a this thing in the ankle so pretty much standard articulation with dc multiverse i feel like uh, marvel legends definitely beat them with articulation but he's a very nice figure especially with these accessories which i just ordered a black adam and um shazam which i'm probably gonna use these for their electricity and stuff instead of flash i might just stand them with him with a back piece so very nice figure i don't really have much to say about him but yeah this is might be a little bit too tall because for the comparisons size comparisons he looks taller compared to superman superman is supposed to be like a big guy i don't know buff guy it's okay though, it, you can't really notice till you start staring at it. And the other figure that I actually have for this um, DC multiverse, it will be this one. Um, the Doomsday, the Builder figure. And the other two guys that I don't really um, like, which would be the from that wife. Um, but yeah, that's it for this guy the flash from dc multiverse it costed me i forgot to be honest like 17 dollars um 
yep i definitely recommend it it's not a bad figure i definitely prefer this look over the original one so yeah thanks for watching